I forgot to mention, if you're just joining us, I'll attach a link here to the video prior. Before you hang any axe on any handle, there's a, there's a few tricks you can do to make sure, A, you buy a good handle, and B, you get that handle ready to mount the axe head. So yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, so if you haven't seen that, watch that video and then come back to this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to mount our axe on in our on our vise here. I like to have it a little bit of a upward angle. Make sure you use soft jaws on this. You don't want to mar that really nice handle that you spent a lot of time and energy into. So we're going to lock all this down and now let's grab our axe head. All right, trying to set you guys up in a good spot. So obviously we have our axe head here. No questions about that. Um, I like the pitting. I like how it's rusted a little bit. I'm not going to go ahead and clean it. I like that patina look. But anyways, we're going to try to just roughly fit this on here and see where our highs and lows are, if there is any. So it looks like to me our back is good, but we need to take a little bit off this face here. So those of you who realize, we use our... Uh, we're gonna use our spoke shave for this. Just get a little bit of extra um, fittings out of there. What I like to do is, I'm sorry, I'm kind of working around the camera here, but just use a spoke shave a little bit, just to take take some material off. You can use a draw knife. You don't have to go crazy. This will, believe it or not, take off a fair amount of material. So even just knocking that edge off there, see if we can, uh, we're almost. We're almost already there. All right, now you notice here, I got it just started ever so slightly. I'm gonna take a, a nylon hammer and just try to get it started. Now you're not gonna pound this head on the whole way like this. This is just to kind of get it, uh, get it started. So let's see if it'll, yeah, it'll start. It'll start walking on a little bit. Now this is where you need to pay attention. Now I know it seems to make sense to just keep pounding on this, but you don't want to do that. What you want to actually do is, is loosen your vise a bit, take your handle out. Now using a nylon hammer, you don't want to use a ball peen. Using a you know plastic nylon hammer, you want to just tap, kind of choke up on it a little bit and kind of Kind of tap that. You see how, see those shavings there? You see how that axe head's going on? Shaving that wood off a little bit? That's exactly what you want. Now, if you're unaware, if you're making progress, what you can do is take a pencil, put a pencil line there, okay? So pay attention to that pencil line, right? So now we're here. See, it's no, no secret that pencil line's gone. Let me sh bring you guys down a little bit just so you can see kind of the full picture here. You're not putting the axe head on the ground or anything. You're just slowly working it. And again, as promised, we're going to continue to put our pencil line on there. We're going to work this on. See? Our pencil line is slowly vanishing. We're starting to peel some wood here, which is good, which is what we want. Our axe head's going on relatively straight. As you can see, it's coming in. So yeah, let's go ahead and move you guys up a bit. Let's continue to uh, beat this here. Okay. 
don't be afraid too if you see that <clears throat> there's a little bit more wood here than needed don't be afraid to sh shave this down with like a sharp razor blade or whatever your axe is going to sit down to your shoulders anyway so don't be afraid to take a razor blade and kind of just peel away that wood if, if needed so hopefully you could see but the axe head's starting to bounce. It's not getting past this point here. So what I'm going to do is, is just take the razor blade and kind of bevel this down a little bit because this little, uh, this little gap here means the axe head is just bouncing. So we're going to take off quote unquote, the high wood here. I'm just demonstrating, but I'll do it better on the bench, but don't be afraid to free up some wood around this head here. Cause you still got a long way to go. So hopefully you can see, but we need to take this wood down here because it flares out. So what I'm going to do is, is get the small hand rasp here and knock this wood down. We tried to carve it with the knife, as you can see, but we need to knock some of this material down because we want our axe head to slide all the way down to our shoulders here. So let's do that next. All right, so you can see we're just about here on this side. I took down some beef here and some beef here because I want this axe head to sit right on these shoulders here. So let's give it a few more whacks and I think we should be there. Oh, right, well, this is how far we got. Um, hit my hand a little bit, but I cannot get it to go any farther down. Uh, the eye, I think the eye was a little bent. I'm not sure, but I had a hell of a time getting it in. So I think normally you would bring it down to the shoulders here but that's going to be fine this axe head's never going to move so now let's work on the top wedge with our cross wedge and we should be good to roll all right so we got that as far as we're going to get it what we're going to do now is just take a screwdriver here chisel would work better but i can't seem to find one but pound this back in here see if you can reopen this uh this curve cut here is we're gonna need it open to pound our uh, wedge in. So open that up a little bit, enough to get your wedge started. And yeah, I think it's time. Yeah, I think that's time for our wedge. Now if you take our wedge, which we just finished, this wedge is obviously a touch too long, so we're gonna go ahead and trim this right about right about there. That'll give us enough room. So let's trim this on that pencil line, then we'll come right back. All right, so now we got our wedge trimmed appropriately. We're gonna go ahead and just lightly tap this in. get that baby started now what you can do is uh, grab a block of wood block of wood and let's reposition our vice here Give it a, a nylon hammer should be okay. Again, same thing. We're gonna we're gonna pencil line. See if we're moving a bit. Well, she's going a bit. Same thing. Take our knife. going on here more pencil this nylon hammer is the best okay I think that's as good as we're gonna get since that's starting to starting to split so now why don't we cut that cut that flush
Now let's just take our wood rasp here, just clean this up a bit. I'm gonna get that uh, layer of lacquer off because we're gonna linseed oil this. Don't wanna go too far down. All right. Now we're going to set our barrel wedge, and that will be our last step of the fitment here. Open our vise up a bit. Come on, baby. Now what we're going to use, um, these are called uh, barrel wedges. Sometimes you have the straight ones, sometimes they make fork ones. I like the barrel ones. Uh, I've used these once before and I kind of like them. So let's find one that is appropriate in size. This came, this was an assortment so that was pretty slick. So I think the one we just had was pretty good. All right. Yeah, I like that. So now we're going to put our barrel wedge right over our, uh, where there was a little bit of a hole, a little bit of a divot. So now, where's my hammer? Hang on. All right, so now that we got our barrel wedge set, why don't we go ahead and center it, roughly center it. Give it a couple... Just make an impression. Then it should start to go. All right, well, that's how that came out. The top got a little dirty just from, I don't know if it's dust or metal shavings, but the last thing we're gonna do Let's take our boiled linseed oil, pop our cap open, and coat this bad Larry. This is all fresh, fresh wood. Don't be afraid to get on the axe head, it's not going to hurt. Get on the sides there. Yeah, that's all fresh wood now, so needs to be uh, needs to be properly oiled now. Yeah, I like it though. All right, let's let that soak. All right, folks, let's have a final look. We got our four-pound head on our thirty-six-inch hickory handle. Oh. This has some good weight to it. Didn't come out the best. It's a little bit ugly. I wish it would come down a little bit more, but for the love of me, I just could not get it down. But hey, guess what? I'm not a professional. I'm going to share it anyways. I'm your average person who heats with firewood. I'm not a professional. This isn't my thousandth, you know, axe head that I've hung, but I have all the correct steps. It's just a matter of reality versus, uh, reality versus, you know, expectation. So, but... Here's the thing though, it'll work. It'll hold. That axe head's never gonna loosen up, guaranteed. Um, I like that barrel wedge. That was nice. These are, um, I got these on eBay. These are taco fasteners. I bought these with my own money. Um, I wanted to try the barrel ones. Comes in a variety of, they have whole kits. They have kits with 50 of them in it, but worked out pretty good. We're gonna do a paracord uh, overstrike collar here. We'll bring that down about here, and then yes, this is gonna be a, a pretty good splitter. So. Like I always say, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm as real as it gets. I'm not a professional craftsman. I'm not a professional axeman, chainsaw person, anything. I'm just your average guy. So um, it'll work.
Is it my best? No, but that's how you learn. Next time I would probably take a little bit more wood off here so that way I had an easier time getting the head on. That's what I would do differently. But hey, it'll work. We'll be splitting, with it, splitting wood with it in the next video. But again, like I always say, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. You can be as honest as the day is long. Doesn't matter to me. If you have any tips, tricks, um, again, I'm not a professional. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.